Hello and welcome to How to Play Duroc, presented by GatherTogetherGames.com. This video will cover how to play the card game Duroc. The video will start with the general concepts and gameplay, and then get into more of the details for the game. The video will conclude with an example round of Duroc. There are different variations to the card game Duroc. This video will teach you how to play with four players playing individually. Duroc is played with a 36 card deck, the aces down to the sixes in each suit, with the aces being the highest ranking cards and the sixes being the lowest ranking cards. The trump suited cards will outrank all other suited cards during a round. Each player is dealt six cards one card at a time. The next top card is flipped up and the remaining deck is placed on top of it. The suit of the card flipped up is the trump suit for the round. The object of the game is to avoid being the last player with cards. The last player with cards is the Duroc, which means fool, and will have to deal the next game. Going back to the hand that was dealt earlier, I have flipped up each player's cards for you to see. In an actual game, you will keep your cards hidden from the other players. The first attack is made by the player with the lowest trump card. Player 4 for this game. An attack consists of a player playing a card into the middle. A defense is made by beating the card played. An attack card can be beat by a higher ranking card in the same suit or any trump card if the attack card is a non-trump suited card. If an attack is successfully defended, another attack can be made. But the new attack card must be the same rank as a previously played card. Here, player 4's second attack must be an 8 or a jack. Once player 4 is done attacking, the player left of the defender gets a chance to attack. Player 2 has to attack with a card in the same rank as a card already in the middle. Player 2 attacks with the queen of spades. If a defender successfully defends all attacks, he becomes the new attacker. If a defender cannot defend an attack, he must add all the cards from the middle to his hand and loses his turn to attack. Player 1 was unsuccessful in defending and adds all the cards to his hand. He loses his turn to attack and player 2 becomes the new attacker and player 3 is the new defender. Before the next attack begins, any player under 6 cards will draw from the remaining deck to get back to 6 cards. Once the remaining deck runs out, no card draw occurs after an attack. After the first attack, all new attacking cards must match the rank of a card in the middle. Here, the second attack card must be an 8 or 9. After player 2 defends with an ace, the next attacking card can be an 8, 9, or ace. An attack has a maximum of 6 attacking cards, or if the defender starts with less than 6 cards, the maximum attack cards is equal to the number of cards in the defender's hand. An attack may end before six cards if the attacking players cannot make another attack or all attacking players choose not to make another attack. When a defender wins, the cards from the middle are discarded. Once the original attacker cannot attack or passes on attacking, the other players not defending have the option to attack. Here, player four passes on attacking player one further. Play moves clockwise to player two who will add an attack. Once player 2 is done attacking, player 3 would have an option to attack. The attacking option returns to player 4 once player 3 is done attacking. Attacking continues clockwise until 6 attacks have been made, all attackers pass on attacking, or the defender is unable to beat an attack. A defender can choose not to play an attacking card even if the defender is able to beat the card played. The defender would take the cards from the middle and loses his turn to attack. But before the defender takes the cards, other players can add possible attacking cards. For example, player 3 could play a trump suited card to beat the 7 of clubs, but decides not to defend. Player 1 adds the 6 of clubs as the 6 is a valid attacking card. Player 3 then collects the cards in the middle. After an attack, players will draw cards to return their hands to at least 6 cards. The original attacker draws first, then other attackers moving clockwise, and lastly the defender if needed. The last draw card is the flipped up trump card. Once this card is drawn, the race to get rid of cards begins. The last player still with cards is the loser. This game is down to two players. Player 1 attacks player 3 and player 3 defends. 
Player 1 attacks again with his last card. Player 3 is the last player with cards and loses this game. The game begins with each player being dealt 6 cards, one card at a time. The next top card is flipped up and the remaining deck is placed on top of it. The suit of the flipped up card is the trump suit for the round. Player 3 has the lowest trump card making him the first attacker. Player 4 is the first defender. Player 3 attacks with the 7 of clubs. Player 4 defends with the higher ranking jack of clubs. The next attacking card has to be a 7 or a jack. Player 3 doesn't have a 7 or a jack and play moves to player 1 to attack player 4. Player 1 attacks with the jack of spades. Player 4 defends with the king of spades. A player can now attack with a 7, jack, or a king. Player 1 decides to pass on attacking and keeps his trump jack. Player 2 and player 3 also decide to pass on attacking player 4 further. The cards in the middle are discarded. Player 3 and player 1 each draw one card. Player 4 draws two cards. Player 4 was successful in defending and now becomes the attacker. Player 4 attacks with the 6 of spades and player 1 defends with the 8 of spades. Player 4 attacks again with the 8 of clubs. Player 1 decides not to defend against the 8 of clubs. Other players may add acceptable attacking cards. Player 2 adds the 8 of hearts. Player 1 takes the cards in the middle. Player 4 and Player 2 draw back to 6 cards. Player 1 was unsuccessful in defending and loses his turn to attack. Play moves to Player 2 who begins his attack on Player 3. Player 3 defends the first attack but chooses to pick up after the next attack. No other player adds acceptable attacking cards. Player 2 draws 2 cards to get back to 6. Player 3 is skipped as the attacker. Player 4 attacks. Player 1 defends. Player 4 passes. Player 2 passes. Player 3 attacks, and Player 1 defends again. No other attacks are made and the cards in the middle are discarded. Player 4 draws to return to 6 cards. Player 1 begins his attack on Player 2. Player 2 defends the first attack, but not the second. Player 3 adds acceptable attacking cards. Players 1 and 3 draw, and the draw pile is exhausted. The race to get rid of cards begins. Player 3 attacks Player 4, who decides not to defend. Player 3 adds the acceptable attacking cards and play moves to player 1 to attack player 2. Players continue to attack and defend as follows. Player 4 makes the final attack and player 2 can defend it. Because both players ran out of cards on the same turn, this game ends in a draw. That wraps up How to Play Duroc. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and get more game tutorials by subscribing to our channel, Gather Together Games. Thanks for watching.